Do you ever think about death? Oh yeah. I think about it all the time. Oh yeah. As I'm driving at night. Yeah. I'm always like, well, you know, I deal with car accidents a lot, right? It's part of my, it's part of my job. Um, I'm al- I'm always thinking, not always like every day. I'm not I'm not thinking about it every day. No, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> so, you, know, I hear you. you know, when I'm driving at night, sometimes I'm like, you know, what if I just what if I just get hit by this truck right now and die? Um, yeah. And yeah, it's just it's it's kind of a in- it's interesting to think about because I end up thinking about, and maybe this is vain, but like what what people will think about me, what what people will say about me. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, less so about and this is kind of an overshare less so about whether i'll end up in heaven maybe i'm maybe i'm taking it for granted that i'll be there and i need to work harder but it's more about like did i did i leave did i leave behind people like in a be- kind of like you were saying earlier like in a better place mm-hmm. like people who i interacted with the people i met um were they better off for it or are their lives worse for it kind of yeah i also just uh you know think about the actual car accident like i, I wouldn't want to no no, <laughs> be, no, no. yeah i, 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 I want I, it to be swift but um no i think about that all the time man I, I i do the same thing and and so many people think of you know these <clears throat> scenarios and life and then but not a lot of people talk about it that's that's mm-hmm. the big deal you'd be so surprised i mean i hear people talk um you know, all the day about their thoughts and so forth. These thoughts about death, part of your job, right? Life yeah. and value. You know, I think about it all the time, man. I think about you know if something were to happen to me, you know, how would my family do? What would they do next? You know, make sure. Um, you know, I think about my salvation, like you mentioned. I I pray that God willing, I uh, I'll be able to go upstairs and and so forth. But I think it's I think it's completely like it's completely normal to think about that, especially as humans, you know, where our life is limited and uh, death will come to us all, you know? And um, I think it's healthy to a degree for us to think about those moments, think about the next phase. And Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's what St. Paul did, you know? So when St. Paul was knowledgeable of his upcoming death, he was preparing and and thought about it that way. And it's, it's completely normal to have those, you know, fleeting thoughts that occur all the time and, yeah. and kind of think about purpose and death and life and sickness as well as a big one. What if I get really sick one day or, um, would you want to know when and how you're going to die? Like if you can just, God will tell you. <clears throat> and some, cause some people do, God does give them that vision, right? That yeah. foresight, like, and they know beforehand, like, all right, I'm going to die next week. <laughs> like, <laughs> would you want to know? Like, I think hey, that was. Hey. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got good news and I got bad news, buddy. Yeah. Here's the good news. <laughs> the bad news is it's in five minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah. So honestly, you, yeah. honestly, I think so. I think I think that's why. <laughs> what if it was like? Yeah, go ahead. No, I, want, I, I mean, you know that the uh, Abuna Bishoy camel and. He called cancer the disease of paradise, right? Um, And that's because they, you know, tick tock, tick tock till we can kind of guesstimate when you're going to go. And that's why, you know, Mara del Fardos, that God let them know when they're leaving so they could prepare accordingly. I think from a spiritual point of view, um, it'd be beneficial. But then again, it's like you're just preparing because you're knowing you're going to die. Yeah. You're not you're not preparing as like your status quo, what should be your baseline because you love God. Also, it's a lot of pressure. Like how could you how could you know you're gonna die in a year and not live every day as like a yeah. saint? Like what's your excuse? Like you literally you know. <laughs> like you know you need to do XYZ. It's like That's a test. Terrible. Like it's it's like the difference between like not knowing when a test is and knowing when a test. If I knew my test was next week. I mean, are, why aren't you studying? I feel like it's more a lot more pressure, you know, as opposed to I don't I don't know when I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die when I'm 85, you know. I, yeah. I can repent at 70, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, and I can't walk anymore. Um, but there's also the flip side that, <clears throat> like, let's say you know you're gonna die in a year. Some people may go crazy when it comes to like, hey, I gotta live it up, you know. 
And it could lead people to live a more sinful life, potentially. Like, hey. If they don't believe. If they don't believe. But even, man, I mean, you know, let's say you have a bucket list of things you want to do. Some things that may be sinful or non-sinful. I hate those bucket lists. Yeah. (laughs) What's to say that, you know, your life is on, on the shot clock right now and you know, even though this is something may be sinful, I've always wanted to do it. Let me knock it out. Even for believers. I mean, you know, we all believe in Christ, yet we all fall and we still commit <clears throat> sin. But um, but I'd like to think that the spirituality would for sure ramp up with more frequent confessions, repentance. And... I mean, you put in your two weeks notice for sure, though, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're, you're not in last year. I got to get my pension for the family. No. I know. Uh, I know. <laughs> I mean, it would make you a little apathetic to a degree that it, it might get boring, work, to be honest, cares. right? Yeah if, like, yeah. if you like you quit work yeah, and you have a whole year, um, it could be great if you if you know what you're going to do with your time. Yeah. yeah. It, it could just be normal. I mean, I don't know. It, yeah. It's it's interesting to think about. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I'd want to know. I'd probably, I, I would, I'd want to know if it was like within the next like six months, <laughs> if yeah. it's like 10 years from now, I, I don't, I don't know if I want to know. But I think, I think the, you know, I think it, it can really determine the authenticity of your relationship with God. Exactly, yeah. You know, big time, right? Like, I'm thinking, <clears throat> I'm thinking about it right now. I don't know, like, I don't know. I A lot of times I deal with overthinking and, like, guilt. I, I may feel a little guilty, like, I'm doing all these spiritual things now mm-hmm. that I know I'm about to die. But wait a minute, Abe. You knew you were going to die at some point beforehand. You know what Christ did for you. You know the end goal. Right. Just because now, you know, there's, um, um, you know, you're in the fourth quarter and you got to hit the game winner. Now you're playing defense. Like, yeah. Kind of hard on yourself there, man. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus. Got yourself some slack. (laughs) Fourth quarter, Uh, man. All the pressure. Yeah, man. You like the, you like the, the shine. Um, Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah, it's tough. Um, yeah, well, we are supposed to be living every day like it's our last, right? Like right. theoretically as, as Christians, right? They used to say Maranatha, right? Which right. I'm not even sure what it translates to, but like he's here. What does it mean? Like, amen, come Lord. Amen, come Lord, right? Yeah. Um, that's tradition, right? Like what the what the believers said to each other after Christ resurrected, right? And, and, and uh, ascended oh. into heaven, right? Yeah. Um and I don't think that's that's not something we say anymore, but <laughs> it's Unfortunately, not Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. Maybe uh, we revive it. Maybe we get it going again. Yeah. Uh how would you say how do you say it in English? What you I say? think I think it's Amen, come Amen. Lord. Amen. O, come o Lord. Lord come, come Lord, something like that. Yeah. Probably one of that's the. Not fact- gonna, that's not going to scare anybody off. <laughs> yeah, one, one of one of the fact checkers can uh, check me on that. But. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, but that see, might, you, yeah. <laughs> but that might be that might be uh, <laughs> that might be a great way to start those glue conversations. I mean, you roll up to a party or something or a gathering and say, "Amen, Maranatha." You may get some <laughs> weird looks, but at least it'll start a a dialogue.